And that's just the start of what we can expect for the next few days. Stephen Sheeta is in Leesburg with a look at the preparations. Stephen? Maureen, the air is very moist out here and the temperature is dropping. Not a good recipe. Now behind me, you see a lot of people trying to get home ahead of the storm. Some 1,400 trucks geared up across northern Virginia in advance of the storm. Some of them loaded up on salt in preparation for a long, drawn-out fight against the snow and ice. Well before anything fell from the sky, a sense of dread hung over Leesburg. Loudoun County is expected to get hit hard. It's going to disrupt everything tomorrow, you know, the commute, and it's going to be, it's going to be pretty icky. <laughs> Noelle Welsh headed to the supermarket today. She knows she'll spend tomorrow at home, but worries about those who can. I do feel for those who, who do have to weather the storm out there and actually have to commute into D.C. Bernard Rollins went to the shed behind the Roy Rogers he manages to get some shovels. I'm just called preparing for the uh, ice storm that's coming up later on this, this evening. All across the region, motorists race to gas stations ahead of the storm. I'm trying to make sure that I've got enough gas in my car to get around so I don't have to do it during the storm. A lot of people expect they'll be off the roads and probably at home tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to it. Others, not so much. What I'll be doing tomorrow morning, taking care of my nine-year-old, so. Well, there you see some of the leftover snow from the last storm. Now, despite these intense efforts at treating the roads and, of course, to remove the sleet and ice tomorrow, I spoke with a representative of VDOT who said, unless you absolutely have to, try not to drive tonight and through tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.